All right, let's talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles, the way I like to remember them, they start with a C, and supplementary angles start with an S. Complementary angles are any two angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are any angles that add up to 180 degrees. Let's work some examples. Let's say I have this right here. We see the little box, so that means it's a right angle. When I cut off this part, it's 40 degrees. What must this be? Let's say I'll call it x. Well, what plus 40 equals 90? x equals 50 degrees. Let's say we have a straight line. I know all the way around a straight line is 180 degrees. So if I split that straight line, and I say this part, well, that looks to be about 55 degrees. What must this part, we'll call it Y, be? Well, Y is going to have to be whatever we need to add to 150 to get to 180. Or we could take 180 and subtract 55. Um, so that's going to be 125 degrees. And that's our Y value. This is the basics of complementary and supplementary. Let's do some more advanced problems. Let's say I want you to solve for x. And I give you this picture. Now what did we say? It adds up to 90, right? So let's add it up to 90. 37 plus whatever this is, 2x minus 8, adds up to 90. Let's go ahead and some, combine some like terms. Well, 37 minus 8 is 29, and we have 2x plus 29 equals 90. Subtract 29 from each side. And we got 61. Let's divide by 2. Let's divide by 2 x is equal to 30.5. What if we went a little more advanced? Let's say we were given this situation. Still got a right angle here. This one's going to be uh, 3x plus 2 degrees, and this one's going to be 7x minus 12 degrees and I asked you to solve for x. Well, what I would need to do from here is think, do they add up to 90? Yes, they do. So I'm going to add them up and set them equal to 90. 3x plus 2 plus 7x minus 12. And that's equal to 90. If I can combine like terms, 3x plus 7x is 10x. 2 minus 12 is negative 10 equals 90. We'll add 10 to each side. And 10x equals 100. Divide by 10. And x equals 10. And there's complementary for you. Let's say we're dealing with a linear pair or linear pair, or any two angles that come together to form a straight line. And I told you that this was 127 degrees. And this is 7x minus 8 degrees. Okay, well, what does the straight line add up to again? It adds up to 180 degrees. So we'll take our 7x minus 8. We'll add to that 127 because those are our two angles, and it's set equal to 180 degrees. Uh, negative 8 plus 127 is 119 equals 180. Uh, minus 119 from each side, and that gives us 61 equals 7x, divide by 7 on each side, and x equals 61 
sevenths. Sevenths doesn't terminate well, so I'm not going to convert that to a decimal. Let's say we're dealing with this situation. Um, this is 9x over here. And let's say this is 7x plus 10. So maybe a little bit smaller. How am I going to solve for x? Well, I know that this is a straight line, so I know if I add these two things up, 9x plus 7x plus 10, it's going to equal 180. Subtract 10 from each side. We got 170. Oh, and let's go ahead and combine these like terms while we're at it. 9x plus 7x is 16x. So we need to divide by 16 on each side. And x equals 170 over 16. I guess if we wanted to reduce that, I know at least these both are divisible by 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. 170 divided by 2 is 85. Okay, 85 is... 17 times 5, so I know 17 and 5 don't go into 8. So 85 over 8 is my final answer. This is how we solve complementary and supplementary angles.